kindness as we enter more fully into Jesus' suffering. In the penitential spirit of Lent, these living stations act as an examination of conscience, allowing each of us to look into our own hearts and find the way we have drifted away from God. The actors and narrators are here to help you visualize Christ's sacrifice for us. We ask that you participate by responding and singing at certain points during the stations. And when it is over, return to your classrooms in silent reflection and prayer. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you today, helping all of us to become closer to Jesus. Now please join me in the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Look at this man that Jesus stands in front of. He is Pontius Pilate. He is the Roman governor and the most powerful man in Judea. Angry people have told lies about Jesus and they want Pilate to kill him. Pilate knows Jesus is an innocent man. He knows he should not be killed, but Pilate is afraid. He wants the angry people to like him, to be his friends, or he might lose his job. So he tells Jesus, I condemn you to die. Please respond. It isn't fair. We want to cry when Jesus is condemned to die. Jesus, make us strong like you when blamed for things we didn't do. Please sing. Let us pray. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Look at the quiet way Jesus does what they tell him. He does not fight with the men who push him. He does not hate them and say rough words to them. If they had known he was dying for them and for all of us, they would have acted differently. So Jesus forgives them. He thinks only of how he loves them and us. Then he takes up his cross but in his heart, he asks his Heavenly Father to help him carry it bravely. Please respond. Worries, illnesses, problems, cares are crosses we are asked to bear. By your cross, you lead the way and give us strength to face each day. Please sing. station, Jesus falls for the first time. Look at how Jesus is stumbling along, struggling just to stand. The cross is crushing his shoulder, and the sharp stones in the road cut his bare feet. All around him, people are shouting and pushing, and the Roman soldiers who have been ordered to crucify him want him to hurry. Jesus tries as hard as he can to move faster, but he stumbles and falls. Please respond. It makes us sad to have to see the Son of God down on his knees. Dear Jesus, help us start anew each time we feel to follow you. 
Please sing. Let us pray. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. Look at the lady reaching out to Jesus from the crowd. She is his mother, Mary. She comes close to her face, is full of tears. There are, there are on Jesus' cheeks too. You can tell how much they love each other. Look at Jesus and see a son who honors and respects his mother out of the great love he has for her. He performed his first miracle because his mother expressed concern for the shortage of wine at a wedding. Although this man is the son of God, he needs, he needs nothing. He still follows the Father's commandment to honor his mother. But Mary is not allowed to stay close to Jesus, to say kind loving words to him. The guards push her away. Please respond. Dear Mary, it must make you cry to know your only child will die. Help us to let our parents know that we love them and need them so. Please sing. station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Look at that woman standing before Jesus. We call her Veronica, a poor Jewish woman who sees the love in this man's face. She has pushed her way through the crowd to get to Jesus. That was a brave thing to do, with all those rough people around to scare her. She does not understand how they can look at his guy and loving face and do these terrible things to him. But she does not think of them. She thinks only of how she wants to give Jesus a handkerchief to wipe his face. When Jesus gives it back to her, there is an image of his face on the handkerchief. It was Jesus' way of thanking her. Please respond. No one can ever wipe away the sadness of that awful day. 
Will we make the world a better place? Each child might wear a happy face. Please sing. Let us pray. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. Look at how hard it is for Jesus to walk. He feels weak and shaky. He has had nothing to eat or drink, and he hurts all over. But the soldiers won't let him stop and rest. They keep pushing at him to walk faster. He tries, but again he falls down in the dirty street, and the heavy wooden cross falls on top of him. Please respond. How hard your cross, how long your way, when you fell again that day. When we have too much to do, we'll keep on trying, just like you. Please sing. Let us pray, the eighth station, Jesus meets the weeping women. Look at the women of Jerusalem who are standing at the corner of the street where Jesus is passing. When Jesus draws near, they fall to their knees, sobbing and weeping for him. They feel sorry for him and say loving words to him. They are weeping because they have been touched by the immense love and compassion of Jesus. Jesus has never given them worthy goods. But he offered his love, his mercy, his hope, and now his life. He tenderly reaches out to them. Even now, in his pain, he doesn't think of himself, but stops to comfort them. He tells them that he will feel better if he knows they will always be kind and gentle toward everyone for love of him, and if they will teach their children to do the same. They are good women. They will do what Jesus asks. Please respond, Jesus, you heard the women cry and spoke to them as you passed by. Help us wipe away the tears of those who suffer.